there, it's Eve here from Mystic Rainbow Tarot and thank you for looking in today. This is going to be a reading on Lisa from Blackpink, um, the K-pop group and several people have asked me um, to do a reading um, to see if she's with anybody and um, I've had several messages linking her with different people so I'm going to find out if she is with anybody today. Anyway, I'd just like to say I hope you're having a good day and please uh, remember to share, like and subscribe to support this channel and please feel free to leave a comment if you wish to. So let's dive right into the reading about Lisa. So Lisa from Blackpink. Does she have a boyfriend? Lisa, is Lisa in any kind of um, relationship? Does Lisa have a love interest? Is Lisa in a romance? Let's see what we get here. I'm just going to pull one card to start with and see. So, so this first card is the... Um, seven of cups so this is this is about no the message i'm getting is no lisa is not in a romance at the moment and the energy that's coming through is she is a little confused because she has several choices so because lisa is very attractive and cute and, and i mean she has a lot of charisma and a great personality she's had a lot of offers so um as you can see in this picture um the girl is kind of sitting there in the moonlight with the campfire and she's trying to think about all these different um offers she's had but um she's just too confused because um so, some would she feels might be uh, people she'd like to be with but others not so um that's the energy she's in. She can't make up her mind anyway um, because she's she's got quite a few choices there. Also, I see Lisa has been dreaming of romance. So there, there she is thinking about, how, you know, Mr. Wright and how she would like it to go. But she's not actually dating anyone at the moment. But it doesn't hurt to dream, does it? And I see that Lisa mingles and socialises with many other K-pop idols um you know after her performances and awards um that type of thing and that is why i feel she's being linked with so many names because they're just friends and acquaintances and i think she's got a lot of connections in the k-pop world you know in the industry i think there are a number of sort of potential suitors who are trying to win her over but they haven't managed to yet so that's that and I'm going to uh, reshuffle now and do um, a general reading on Lisa to see what's happening in her life um, because I've had quite a few requests just to do a, a, a reading on Lisa so, so let's see what Lisa's up to Lisa from the girl group k-pop group black pink Lisa How's Lisa doing? What's happening with Lisa? Any messages spirit were allowed to know about Lisa? Lisa, what's going on with Lisa? Lisa, good shuffle. Let's see what turns up. Cards down. Oops. Put that one at the top. 
so I'm just going to straighten these cards up so see what energy I'm getting from these cards while I do that ah so firstly we have the seven of swords and the nine of swords in this reading so just hold those up for you to see and I'll try and hold them together here With these two cards, um, they're in the past position in the reading. So this is about someone was lying to Lisa and sneaking around. I feel with Lisa's finances and she was taken advantage of. Um, but I think the fans are going to know more about this than me. And you can see that in this card here. She looks so, you know, I trusted you. And look what you've done. She's running, look. I can't believe I've been deceived and there's the the bad person in the background so you know that's the feeling with that card um so I think Lisa needs to do some investigating because she may have lost a lot of money to someone who was um using deceit tactics uh to gain money from her I feel this person's intentions were deliberate and were carried out without a thought of how this would affect Lisa and this is to do with the money she earns um, as a K-pop idol but I feel it's in the past um, so maybe she needs to check her past contracts um, this may be something to do with someone who used to be over her and isn't anymore but um, yeah they've deceived her with money so they're holding on to some money of hers yeah so she needs to um check up legally where she stands here to see what's happening with her money because this is all about being taken advantage of i feel like lisa was in a vulnerable state when this happened and it has left her feeling stressed and anxious and you know you can literally see that in this card here she's like got her head in her hands and she's like you know i can't believe this has happened to me you know because she's completely innocent of all this and this has left her yeah she's she's feeling anxious and um and this was all doing her more harm than good when this happened i mean this was a little while ago but it's still affecting her because it's got to be sorted out so um these two cards here um being in the past like they are but lisa was getting upset about this situation and it was causing her some anxiety and stress which isn't nice for anyone um it's not good for her to go through that um she has enough with her career so i feel lisa should be um is going lisa's going to be offered some legal help to sort this problem out so that's something good so I also feel um, Lisa has been worried about this financial loss which has put pressure on her and her family but I see Lisa handling this well in the future and becoming more positive um, because she's got a lot of faith in herself and her family has got a lot of faith in her they're being supportive to her so I see her recharging herself and getting um, in a better feeling place because she's not going to let it ruin things or ruin her career for her. Lisa does know. Um, Lisa does know what's good for her, and I feel like she will get her money back in time. It's just the stress of waiting for it all to get sorted out. Um, so let's see what else we have in the reading. So we have the Six of Pentacles here. This just looks like Lisa with all her wealth there. And there she is in a beautiful dress, you know, feeling proud of what she's achieved. So um, with this card coming up in the reading, I feel um, Lisa is very generous and kind and charitable. Um, and I definitely get the energy from this that she feels like I've got all this wealth but you know I want to share it with others I want to help people less fortunate than me because she is very much like that 
she's a kind giving girl so Lisa is very generous and kind and you know charitable I see her being very generous to other band members I mean she's the sort of girl that would buy them takeouts so they can all enjoy themselves um, I also think she gives her time uh, freely and um, support to other group members and I see her giving um, generous charity donations for the less fortunate who are in desperate situations um, that she feels for. I feel she has a good heart. This is also a card of power and control. So Lisa feels restricted by people over her too. Anyway, Lisa likes to pass on her knowledge and wisdom to anyone who is in need of advice. Um, and that would be other people, up and coming stars in the K-pop industry because she is good like that. I do think Lisa helps other artists um, along the way to refine and upgrade their skills um, because she's been there herself. And I feel like she would, she feels she was helped along the way too. So she wants to kind of give that back. I also feel Lisa never expects anything in return from others. She always gives freely from her heart because the energy I'm receiving is of a very giving nature and Lisa is happy to give back to humanity in meaningful ways. And this um, Six of Pentacles in the reading indicates karmic energy, meaning um, what she puts out into the world will come back to her. So she puts out a lot of good and that's why she is so popular and in the spotlight and is doing so well. It's all returning to her. So this is good news for Lisa because she kind of networks and connects herself with the right people um, as well uh, and places. And she will be um, climbing the ladder even more in her career. I do see that. And her finances will be sorted out. So that is good news. So let's see what else we have in this reading. So we have the Queen of Wands. Oh wow, this represents Lisa in the reading. Yeah, that's her being the star, all eyes on her, very popular. Looking very pretty and cute there. So I feel this is Lisa's energy and um, what I'm getting from this is, um, is she is warm and sensitive and she has a determined strength within her. She knows what she wants in life and I feel she has a lot of courage and persistence, especially in her career. Lisa goes after every opportunity to do the things she loves within her career like TV, modelling, and I feel like um, she started dancing at a very young age at home in front of her parents and they saw um, how good she was then. So they, they pushed her on, you know. They could see her talent is what I mean. I sense she is a very trusting person, maybe too trusting sometimes because she needs to guard herself from people who don't have her best interests at heart in the k-pop industry so she needs to be careful i feel like lisa can't be swayed from any goals she has um set you know she's really set her mind on certain things even if there is strong opposition to doing the things she wants um she's gonna go for it talk people into it somehow she's not the type to give up I can see um, that she is very independent and although she has lots of friends, she keeps just a handful of really close special friends. I think Lisa is just a super achiever and there seems to be nothing she can't handle career wise. And I see she's uh, very comfortable being in the spotlight and that helps a lot. She's not nervous or anything. Plus the reason I think she has stayed single up until now is she would never want to give up her career for anyone. So she would need someone who's very understanding of her life um, and her career in the limelight because she would want to carry on with this. So that's good um, that she knows what she wants in her life. 
Um, so we'll see what the next card is. The next card is the Three of Cups. Um, so with this card coming up in the reading, yeah, I see Lisa and her other band members, or they're more like friends of Blackpink, you know, are all involved with their work and are having a lot of fun together as time goes by. And this is a lovely card because this is the Mad Hatter's Tea Party and I do see them when they have fun together, the girls. It's like crazy fun, like the Mad Hatter's Tea Party. They really do, if you was to see from the outside, they have so much fun, giggles and hysterics and that, that, um, you know, you might think they're a bit nutty, but they're not. They just really know how to let their hair down and have some fun. Um, at the moment, her workload is not as high, so um, she has been able to enjoy some relaxing time and breaks from it all too. And let's face it, she deserves some time to unwind because she works so hard. But even when Lisa has been really busy with demanding schedules, I feel she enjoys what she does so much and puts everything into it because of that. And so she doesn't even notice the longer hours. They just fly by for her. I do find that also when I'm busy and enjoying what I'm doing, the same thing happens. And I'm sure it is for you guys too. I also feel with this card, Lisa is having some quality time with her family and friends. She's got the time to do that at the moment. I think that Lisa relies on her other band members and other close friends uh, for support um, and she gives them support in return when they're in need as well I think the girls in the band are very close and their bonding has built up over the years you know it's more like a sisterly thing and they celebrate all their successes together and party together you know as it shows in this card so I think they have all been letting their hair down a lot lately so I think She's been taking some time out to forget her problems and that's always good, a good way to dis distress, if you know what I mean, and leave all that behind. And I feel a compromise will happen with the past money problems with the person involved so that Lisa can find some peace with this as she is trying to, th um, she's trying to sort it out all amicably because that's Lisa. She's good like that, so... Let's see what else we have in the reading. And I'm sure other people wouldn't be as reasonable as Lisa. So um, the next card is the Hanged Man. So I'll show you that. And, and quite fitting, it's a girl in this card. It's not actually a man, so that's fitting for Lisa. So I feel with this card, Lisa and the rest of the band are experiencing a feeling of waiting and uncertainty of what is going to happen with the future with um, certain projects and also their plans to tour as many artists have had to cancel performances until restrictions are lifted around the world so I think um, some of their projects are paused at the moment um, so there is a lesson um, to be learnt with this card which is that sometimes things are just out of your control so it's out of the band's control is what I mean um, they want to push forward, especially Lisa, and carry on with projects, but they can't. So what they're doing instead is looking at the things that they can do right now instead. Um, so I think Lisa has just decided to relax and just be because she has decided to view the current situation from a different perspective. And she's just decided to look at future um, possibilities for the band and and they're discussing things together like that because they can't do the things yet that they want to do i think lisa is feeling very creative as well at the moment and wants to release a new single in in the next couple of months so i think there's discussions there in the band so there's things going on behind the scenes that they can talk about to do in the future and it's helping rather than doing nothing so the next card is the Hermit. So um, I hope you can see that. So um, with this Hermit card, I feel it indicates 
that Lisa is going through a time of soul searching and there you can see um, the young lady in the card with the lantern having a bit of time on her, her own to think about her life so she's reflecting on her life on how she wants her career to go in the future and she's got time to do that now so in a way it has benefited her a little bit she can um, sort out her future plans where she may not have had time to so much before she is spending um, her time um, now away from the spotlight to really gain this deeper understanding of herself too she's looking at her direction in life and values how to meet her needs spiritually too so she can give more to her career and fans I think she already gives enough to her career and everything but there you go that's Lisa always pushing on pushing herself um, and I also think um, she's also reviewing how she can help more charitable causes that she feels deeply about. I also feel she's looking within to reach closure with the past and renew her spiritual faith in the future. I think Lisa would benefit from meditation because it would help keep her grounded with all the pressures of the entertainment business. Let's see what else we have in this reading. So the next card is the Ten of Pentacles. I hope you can see that. So this card relates to Lisa has Im impacted millions of people, you know, fans around the world with her talents. And she will be remembered um, by generations to come because she's made such a big name for herself. Not only um, does Lisa love what she does and she works very hard indeed, but it's also been financially rewarding for her. She feels lucky to have been able to help relatives who were less fortunate than her. She is laying down the financial foundations that can be handed down to future generations in her family. And she comes from the type of family that does that, so that's wonderful. She really cares and looks after her family. And that's a lovely picture where you can just see she's made it there. And you can see how proud she is and, you know, she wants to help all those that she can. The next card in the reading is the King of Pentacles. Hopefully you can see that. So this card is in the future position of the reading. So this means that any current or past struggles that Lisa has been going through will uh, wind up benefiting her so this is about the, the financial situation too yes because as you can see this this man in the card uh, represents a person uh, that's coming into Lisa's life who may well be in it now who will step in to take care of a financial situation and that's the one that we've um, we've uncovered in this reading um he may well be her new manager he may well be um you know a lawyer a financial person but you can see that he has a lot of affluence you can see that he's wealthy he's influ influential he's he's got power he can sort things for her so um and he's going to do that um because she needs assistance with it and this is the guy, this is someone who's going to, probably is taking care of it now. He's going to get it sorted and you can see that there's no swaying him. Look at his face. He means business. He's going to get it sorted for her. So, so this card also relates to Lisa has achieved a high level of status in her field and her family are very proud of her. I see Lisa carrying on with her success and being even more successful. I also see Lisa and the other girls in the band uh, putting together another album and I feel they're working hard on new songs and I feel this album's going to have more songs in it it's going to be longer because simply because they've had the time um, to do this the extra songs that they haven't had the time to do before because they're usually on such a time limit um, but now they've 
they, they can do more what they want to do for the fans so that's great so i also feel there will be unexpected opportunities offered to lisa in the future lisa is a strong person with great integrity who enjoys hard work and i see her doing well because of this um during 2020 and i do see um others see this in her um, she's going to be offered things because Lisa's been noticed by many producers, companies, what have you. Anyway, well, that's the end of the reading and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one. So bye for now.